Well, Tariq Ramdan, what about those attacks? Uh, because here you're seeing a, a, a situation of actually, uh, especially in the attack on in Medina, uh, the uh, near the. Uh, a, a holy site uh, uh, of Saudi Arabia uh, and of Islam, uh, the attacks on Muslims themselves. Yes, but this is not new. You are talking about Iraq, and this is every day we have exactly the same people targeting Muslims. Shia or Sunni are Muslims. It's the same in uh, in Syria. It's the same in the whole region. It's even the same with uh, Saudi Arabia attacking uh, Yemen. So we have, you know, the, the, the majority of the victims are Muslims. And here, what we have in Saudi Arabia, which is new, is targeting uh, uh, Al Madina, which is the, the second sacred place for Muslims. So it's as if they are now ready to go against all the Muslims. And you can hear uh, from uh, around the world people saying, this has nothing to do with Islam. It's against and, uh, any Islamic teachings. At the same time, if you look at the symbols, they were targeting uh, Shia mosques. They were targeting uh, the U.S. embassy. So they are targeting symbols. So we have to ask ourselves what they are trying to do here. Is it because they are losing ground in Iraq that they are doing this? Is it, in fact, just to show that that they can target the people wherever they are. But the point for us here is that there is no clear vision in what they are doing except to spread around violence and violent extremism. So we have to condemn this, but we have to take a step back and to try to understand what is happening in the region and who are uh, the people who are playing. And, you know, uh, Tariq Ali was saying they are making mistakes. Unfortunately, I'm more cynical than that. I'm not sure that they are mistakes. I think that they are policies that are helping the United States and European countries in the mess to sell weapons and still to control the region out of this completely destabilized situation.